Okay, another job today. We've got uh, a customer's given me a set of drawers, uh, like a tall boy and a side table drawer set to, uh, to paint. So what I've done is I've taken it all apart, the faces, uh, the drawers, I've taken the drawers out and uh, I'm gonna roll as much as I can because of the finish it gives me and uh, I'll brush where I can't get a roller in. But just to give you a look at the color and where it's at now, so that's the small um, bedside table, uh, bedside drawers. And there's the tall boy thing, if you like. And I've, um, I've wiped it all down so it's free of, its, of dust and gives you a good idea of how it looks now. And I'll, uh, I'll show you the finished product. So you can see all the faces are off. Each drawer is numbered, numbered. The face of the drawer is numbered with the direction it's hitting so that I put them back on the same way as they came off. Or what can happen is you can, uh, they don't line up with the screws and you're finished up. You're drilling hole, all new holes and it becomes a real mess. It's happened to me, so I know. So I've tried to line them up with the faces and I've taken them apart so that they go back on exactly the same way and the handles as well but I'll be able to roll all that so that when it goes on the back of these I haven't had to cut in uh, it'll just um, it'll come up a much better job so anyway there's uh, drawers two four six so it's six drawers for the tall boy and two for the small and uh, that's the job we're at so I'll show you it at the same stage before I put it back together when it's painted and I'll show you it when it's uh, when it's finished. All right, let's get at it. I'm going to show you a little trick too that we learned to get the drawers out because it can be tricky. Is on the drawer here, there is a, a latch and on this side, you push the latch like that and it allows it to release from the holding bracket here right so when that's slid in um, and that is drawer number one so I won't use one as an example but in fact I'll stop the tape and I'll um, I'll grab a drawer okay so I've now got number six which is the bottom drawer here's the ratchet I'm talking about it's the same the other side but works upward the same as that but the opposite upward way and uh, let's just have a look at um, how that works. Get an idea. <laughs> I can't be bothered putting it together, but you get an idea of what I mean. So we're into day two and uh, we're moving along with the uh, third coat which is a top coat of um, gloss. It's um, aqua enamel which is um, water based enamel and uh, it's uh, semi gloss actually so I'm putting that over the two coats of undercoat, the precision undercoat is uh, what I used and uh, it's coming up pretty pretty nice in fact that's that's covered and that's the back of it so i've even given the back a run because nothing worse than seeing it behind furniture and it's uh that can probably do with another coat down there and see through that a bit but, uh, yeah that's um that's the big one the faces the small one and that's covered so that's good um, more of the faces Probably if I was going to be real detailed, I'd take these sliders off and paint that because that comes out and shows when you use the drawer. Um, but I'm not going to go to that, de that detail. More of the faces, back of the face, front of the face. Um, but they've covered, they're done. Uh, pretty, there's the... Uh, 
a pint. Two lux Aquanamel. Two liters of the semi gloss. Yeah, that's. So, it's all coming on nicely. I'll see you when it's all together. Here's the sort of roller that I'm using. So it's a uh, it's a round sponge type roller, and it's probably about uh, four inches wide and a small tray. Uh, so that's I find that find that leaves a really nice smooth finish with no uh, texture showing. It uh, leaves it quite smooth, so it's good. All right. Okay, so it's six o'clock and uh, I'm showered. The job's been finished. I've put everything back together. I'm going to swing you around, have a look at the finishing result. Um, they've all gone together nicely. I've got the drawers sitting out slightly so that they don't stick until they're really properly hard and dry. They're touch dry, but um, anyway, they, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it's all come up. And I'm sure uh, Smithy will too. Probably could do with another coat on that. It's not as white as that one, which would be four coats it's had to, to cover. As I said to you, I've covered the backs so that they look nice and uh, professional. If I had my time over, I would um, I would take the sliders off and paint that section. You're still going to see the inside that's dark, but there'll be clothes in there. Um, whereas this section, if that was all white, had it, I'm sure that would look that bit, that bit better. However, um, you can see behind drawers, the faces, it's all white. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. They've come up, come up pretty well. Happy with that. Another job done. See you uh, on the next one.